In recent times, there have been reports of strange sounds echoing across the world, leaving many wondering about their significance. Could these eerie noises be an indication of the approaching end of the world? Something terrifying has appeared in the sky over the Dome of the Rock, as Jerusalem finds itself gripped by another shocking sign of the end times. International spectators and Israeli authorities are concerned, as this is just one of the strange events that have recently taken place in the region. From the ongoing conflict in the Middle East to the alarming drying up of the Euphrates River, strange weather disasters in Mecca, and the plans for rebuilding the Third Temple, Christians have drawn connections between these unnatural events and the return of Jesus Christ. Could the appearance of angels signify God's intervention during the Great Tribulation? Are these apocalyptic signs leading up to the Second Coming? Let's find out the terrifying things just seen in the sky of Jerusalem. The Bible presents a powerful message that deeply resonates with Christians, the promised return of Jesus Christ to earth. Believers all over the world await this moment which will be filled with triumph and glory. According to God's word, this second coming will be personal, visible, and breathtaking. As the world draws closer to this event, a sense of panic and fear has gripped many hearts as the prophecies of the Bible unfold before their eyes. The book of Revelation presents vivid imagery and breathtaking descriptions of Jesus' magnificent return. He is portrayed as a triumphant king, surrounded by a host of angels, creating a scene of unparalleled grandeur. The second coming of Jesus is of immense significance for Christians, as it fulfills several prophecies in the Bible. It represents the culmination of God's redemptive plan and the ultimate defeat of evil. In the midst of the ongoing unrest in Israel, Christians eagerly anticipate this glorious return, holding on to a profound hope that it will bring about peace and restoration. But what is surprising is the strange events that have emerged in the sky over Jerusalem in recent months, which have ignited global discussions and prompted deep contemplation. These remarkable sightings have prompted individuals to ponder whether they are divine messages from God or if there may be alternative explanations behind them. As we explore these unnatural manifestations amidst the ongoing conflict, we will delve deeper into their significance and explore why Israel is considered a place of divine protection. Keep watching as we embark on a journey to uncover the meaning behind these celestial events and their connection to the profound hope that Christians hold for the return of Jesus Christ. You know, every single day that goes by is another day closer to the end times to the second coming of Jesus Christ. But to begin, let's dive into the Bible to see what it says about angels and the second coming. Angels are spiritual beings with intelligence, emotions, and will. They do not have physical bodies like humans, yet they retain distinct personalities and occasionally manifest themselves in physical forms. Due to their status as created beings, their knowledge is finite, unlike God who is all-knowing. However, angels seem to possess a greater understanding than humans, possibly due to several factors. Firstly, angels were created as a higher order of creatures, inherently endowed with greater knowledge. Secondly, angels are well-versed in God's word. And thirdly, they acquire knowledge through extensive observation of human activities throughout history. Unlike humans, angels do not need to study the past or rely on historical accounts. They have directly experienced it. Consequently, they possess profound insights into the actions and reactions of individuals in various situations, enabling them to predict human behavior with remarkable accuracy. While angels possess their own wills, they are ultimately subject to the divine will of God. Good angels are dispatched by God to aid and support believers. It is crucial to understand that angels and humans belong to entirely different orders of creation. When humans pass away, they do not transform into angels nor have angels ever inhabited human bodies. Angels and humanity were distinct creations of God, each with their own purpose and existence. Although angels are not explicitly described as being made in the image and likeness of God as humans are, they are nevertheless extraordinary beings with unique qualities. The Bible provides various descriptions of angels appearing in their breathtaking glory. 
For instance, in the book of Daniel, the prophet vividly portrays Gabriel's appearance, likening his body to beryl, his face to lightning, his eyes to torches of fire, and his arms and feet to burnished bronze. Similarly, the angel who rolled away the stone from Christ's tomb is described as emanating a countenance resembling lightning, donning clothing as white as snow, and causing those who witnessed him to tremble in fear, falling as if dead. For those who question the existence of angels, it is important to acknowledge that they are not mere figments of human imagination. The book of Genesis recounts instances of angels appearing to Abraham, a faithful servant of God. Angels possess the ability to manifest and vanish at will, affirming their tangible existence as genuine beings. While a cursory reading of scripture may imply that angelic visitations were relatively frequent, the reality is that such encounters were uncommon. Nonetheless, contemporary society has exhibited a growing fascination with angels, and numerous accounts of angelic experiences have surfaced. Angels are acknowledged within almost every religion and commonly fulfill the role of messengers. Look up. Look up. Are you one of those follow me to the other side voices? No, I am no night bird. I am a messenger. According to modern reports, angelic visitations manifest in diverse forms. At times, a stranger intervenes providentially, averting severe harm or death, only to vanish mysteriously thereafter. In other instances, individuals catch fleeting glimpses of winged or white-clad beings who disappear shortly after their appearance. Those fortunate enough to encounter angels often describe an overwhelming sense of peace and an unwavering assurance of God's presence permeating their being. Now, let's see what the recent appearance in the sky represents. What is the implication of Jesus' presence along with the angels in the sky in the Jerusalem? Christians hold Jesus Christ as their Lord, Savior, and Beloved. They acknowledge Him as the ultimate authority in their lives, surrendering their will to His divine guidance. Jesus is not only seen as the one who saves them from sin and offers eternal life, but also as the loving shepherd who cares for and nurtures His flock. He is the focal point of their faith, the rock on which their beliefs are built. Christians view Jesus as the Son of God. Who art thou? For behold, I am a son of God. Where is thy glory that I should worship thee? Blessed be the name of my God. The Savior who came to earth to redeem humanity and offer the gift of eternal life through his sacrificial death and resurrection. When Christians reflect on Jesus, they often think of love, grace, and strength. Jesus exemplified these qualities during his time on earth, teaching his followers to love one another, show mercy to those in need, and extend forgiveness as they themselves have been forgiven. He serves as the ultimate example of selflessness and compassion. Christians also see Jesus as the bridge connecting humanity to God. Through his life, death, and resurrection, he made it possible for people to have a personal relationship with God. Christians firmly believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father except through him. He is the source of hope, peace, and salvation. For many Christians, Jesus is not merely a historical figure or a religious icon. He is someone with whom they can have a personal connection. They believe that Jesus is present with them in their daily lives, guiding, comforting, and strengthening them. They see him as a friend, a confidant, and a source of wisdom. When faced with challenges, Jesus is the one Christians turn to for support. His words of encouragement bring solace, and His presence brings peace. They believe that Jesus understands their pain and walks alongside them in their trials. Moreover, Jesus represents the ultimate example of how to live a meaningful and purposeful life. His presence embodies hope, love, healing, and miracles, which have resonated with believers throughout history. The significance of Jesus' presence for Christians stems from their belief in His divinity. Christians hold that Jesus is the incarnation of God himself, who took on human form to bridge the gap between humanity and the divine. This belief is rooted in the teachings of the New Testament, where Jesus is described as the Word made flesh, the Savior, and the Messiah. You need redemption and you need rescuing too. 
And there's only one person that can do it. It's Jesus Christ. He's the only Savior. His appearance on earth is viewed as a divine intervention, a direct manifestation of God's love and mercy for humanity. Furthermore, Jesus' presence holds great significance due to his teachings and the example he set. Christians believe that Jesus' life and ministry provide a blueprint for living a righteous and meaningful life. His teachings, such as the Sermon on the Mount, emphasize compassion, forgiveness, humility, and love for both God and fellow human beings. Jesus' presence illuminates the path for Christians, inspiring them to follow his teachings and strive for spiritual growth. Jesus is closely associated with healing and miracles. Throughout the Gospels, there are numerous accounts of Jesus performing extraordinary acts, such as healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, and even raising the dead. These miracles demonstrate Jesus' power over physical ailments and his ability to bring restoration and wholeness to individuals. For Christians, Jesus' appearance represents hope and assurance that God is actively involved in their lives, offering healing and redemption. The healing ministry of Jesus holds particular significance for Christians. Jesus not only addressed physical ailments, but also addressed emotional, spiritual, and relational brokenness. He offered forgiveness to sinners, restored dignity to the marginalized, and emphasized the importance of inner transformation. Christians see Jesus' healing ministry as a sign of God's compassion and desire to bring healing and restoration to all aspects of human existence. Moreover, Jesus' miracles serve as a testimony to His divine nature and power. They are not merely supernatural events, but are seen as signs pointing to a greater reality. Jesus' miracles reveal the presence of God's kingdom breaking into the world, demonstrating God's authority over the natural order. They highlight Jesus' unique role as the Messiah and the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies. These miracles strengthen the faith of believers, affirming that Jesus is indeed the Son of God and that His appearance brings about extraordinary transformation. In the context of the ongoing conflict in Israel, the presence of Jesus Christ alongside Archangel Michael and a host of other angels carries a new and profound level of significance. Jesus' appearance amid the turmoil serves as a powerful source of encouragement and strength for Christians. It instills in believers a renewed sense of hope and a steadfast resolve to persevere through the challenges they face. In times of war, when fear and despair threaten to overwhelm individuals, the presence of Jesus provides comfort and reassurance. It serves as a reminder that God stands with His people, offering unwavering support and guidance. Christians find solace in knowing that they are not alone in their struggles and that Jesus is present to walk alongside them every step of the way. With the recent unprovoked aggression by Hezbollah against northern Israel, the presence of Jesus inspires believers with a renewed sense of strength and courage. His unwavering faith and commitment to God's will motivate Christians to stand firm in their convictions and continue striving for justice and peace despite the adversity they face. The knowledge that Jesus, the Prince of Peace, is present and actively involved in their lives empowers believers to press on, knowing that they are part of a greater purpose. Jesus' ministry was characterized by acts of healing and restoration. His miraculous deeds brought comfort and relief to the afflicted and brokenhearted. In the ongoing conflict, the presence of Jesus offers hope to those who have suffered physical and emotional wounds. His healing touch provides strength and resilience to those who are weary and discouraged, reminding them that there is room for restoration and renewal amidst the devastation of war. In the midst of the conflict, Jesus' presence serves as a constant reminder that through faith and perseverance, there is always hope for a better future. Dear God, Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you today to ask for your divine presence in our lives. Please send your angels to surround us and guide us so that we may recognize your presence. Open our eyes, Lord, to see the signs and wonders that you place before us. Grant us the discernment to perceive your hand at work in our lives and fill our hearts with the joy of knowing you are near. How can we recognize the return of Jesus? Are there notable signs? Jesus himself spoke of the signs that would precede his return, as recorded in Matthew 24, 7. In this passage, he mentioned that nations would rise against each other, and there would be famines, 
diseases, and earthquakes occurring in various places. These words remind us that natural disasters and societal unrest are part of the signs indicating the end times. In recent years, we have witnessed devastating natural disasters that align with these prophetic words. Hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, and wildfires have caused immense destruction, claiming numerous lives and displacing communities. The frequency and intensity of these events seem to be increasing, as seen in the catastrophic earthquakes that struck densely populated regions, resulting in widespread devastation. Buildings crumbled, infrastructure collapsed, and many lives were tragically lost. In such moments, we are reminded of the words in Revelation 16:18, which describe a great earthquake so severe that every island fled away and the mountains were not found. Additionally, the scriptures also mention signs from heaven. In Luke 21:11, Jesus spoke of great signs from heaven that would accompany the end times. These signs include celestial phenomena such as blood moons, solar eclipses, and unusual atmospheric occurrences. While these events have scientific explanations, they can still serve as reminders of the biblical prophecies and prompt us to reflect on the times we are living in. The Bible does mention various celestial signs that are associated with significant events and the fulfillment of God's plan. In the book of Luke, Jesus speaks about signs in the heavens as part of the signs that will precede his second coming. In Luke 21, 25, 26, Jesus says, And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear, and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. This passage suggests that these celestial signs will be accompanied by political unrest and fear among the nations. While it is important to note that the precise timing and interpretation of these signs are subject to differing views within Christian theology, it is worth considering how some recent astronomical events have garnered attention. One example is the occurrence of blood moons, which are total lunar eclipses where the moon takes on a reddish appearance. In Acts 2.20, the Apostle Peter quotes the prophet Joel, saying, The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. From the Bible, we can see that these blood moons are clear signs of the end times. In recent years, there have been notable occurrences of blood moons that have caught the attention of many believers. For instance, a series of four consecutive total lunar eclipses, known as a tetrad, took place between 2014 and 2015. These blood moons coincided with Jewish holidays, clearly establishing their significance in relation to biblical prophecy. Another celestial event to consider is the alignment of planets or other astronomical phenomena that may hold symbolic meaning. In Matthew 24, 29, Jesus mentions the darkening of the sun and the falling of stars. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. While it is essential to approach these signs with discernment and not to jump to hasty conclusions, it is worth noting that unusual astronomical events have occurred in recent times. For example, in 2017, a rare total solar eclipse traversed across the United States, capturing the attention of millions. This event alone serves as a reminder of the majesty and grandeur of God's creation. Does the Bible provide a blueprint for preparing for the glorious return? How should we live in preparation for His coming? The final days draw near, and as devoted followers of Christ, it is imperative that we lead lives that honor God and align with His divine design. How then can we ready ourselves for the imminent return of our Savior? Let us explore foundational principles supported by the Holy Scriptures. First and foremost, we are called to serve others. Even our Lord Jesus Christ exemplified this truth when he declared, For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10.45 By engaging in acts of service and extending charity, we emulate his compassionate footsteps, revealing his love to those in need. Through caring for the poor, the sick, and the marginalized, we fulfill our sacred duty as disciples of Christ.
Active participation in worship and community is also of great significance. Hebrews 10.25 urges us not to forsake assembling together, but rather to encourage one another. By joining a faith community and partaking in religious gatherings, we receive spiritual nourishment and strengthen our bond with fellow believers. In fellowship, we discover support, encouragement, and opportunities for spiritual growth. Living a life of righteousness and ethical conduct is another crucial aspect of our preparation. The teachings of Christ guide us in treating others with love, respect, and fairness. When faced with temptation, we must steadfastly resist and strive for personal integrity. As Romans 12, 2 reminds us we are called to be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we may discern and follow God's perfect will. Moreover, we must remain vigilant and watchful. Jesus himself emphasized the importance of readiness, instructing us to, therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. Matthew 24, 42. To remain spiritually vigilant involves being mindful of the signs and teachings associated with the second coming of Christ. We must continuously seek his wisdom and discernment, diligently studying the scriptures and maintaining a steadfast connection to his voice. The foundation of our preparation lies in the study and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. These sacred texts, such as the Bible, contain a treasury of divine wisdom and revelation. By immersing ourselves in these holy words, we unlock the keys to comprehending the teachings of Christ and the profound messages contained within the scriptures. Let us delve into its pages, meditate upon its truths, and allow its transformative power to illuminate our path. Yet knowledge alone is insufficient. It must be accompanied by heartfelt prayer and reflection. Through prayer, we establish a direct line of communication with our Creator, forging a personal relationship with God. In these intimate moments of communion, we seek guidance, strength, and discernment to navigate the winding roads of life's challenges. Our prayers become a lifeline, anchoring us in faith and providing solace in the face of tribulations. As the rapture of the church draws nearer, we must also confront the shadows within ourselves. Repentance and forgiveness become paramount in our journey of preparation. We humbly reflect upon our actions, acknowledging our shortcomings, and seeking forgiveness for any transgressions. Repentance is not merely a confession of sins. It is a transformative process that compels us to turn away from our former ways, make amends, and strive for righteousness in all that we do. As we shed the layers of our past, we embark upon a quest to cultivate virtues that define our character. Love, compassion, patience, humility, and forgiveness. These virtues radiate brilliantly in the teachings of Christ. They serve as beacons of light in the encroaching darkness, guiding us toward lives that reflect the divine nature. Let us nurture these qualities within ourselves, allowing them to permeate our thoughts, words, and actions. In doing so, we become instruments of peace and vessels of hope in a world yearning for redemption. Beloved, the rapture of the church draws closer with each passing day. The signs of the times are evident, and the urgency to prepare intensifies. As we embark on this journey, studying the scriptures, engaging in prayer and reflection, seeking repentance and forgiveness, and cultivating godly virtues, we align ourselves with the divine purpose, we become ready not only for the forthcoming events but also for a life enriched by the abiding presence of God. May we walk this path with unwavering faith, knowing that our journey is marked by the promise of eternal glory. Let us embrace the challenge of living in these end times, for it is in our preparation that we find strength, hope, and an unwavering connection to the divine. As we stand firm in our commitment to live faithfully, may our lives serve as a testimony to the transformative power of God's love, inspiring others to join us in the pursuit of righteousness. Thanks for exploring. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.